UC Davis also announcing today that they have set up a new institute to study drugs that were once considered taboo. CBS 13's Dina Kuffer spoke with a director about the groundbreaking research giving the future of psychedelics a new trip. Psychedelics have some pretty profound effects on brain structure and function. There is nothing distorted about this new reality for psychedelic research at UC Davis. The prestigious university has just launched an entire institute for psychedelics and neurotherapeutics. They also um, promote the growth of critical neurons in the brain. The goal, according to the new founding director, David Olson, is to further understand how psychedelics impact the brain and how these drugs can treat a wide variety of brain conditions. The atrophy of neurons in certain parts of the brain, the loss of synapses, uh, impairs communication and can lead to uh, diseases like depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, substance use disorder, and even neurodegenerative diseases. Researchers will study a broad range of compounds that alter perception, mood, and affect cognitive behavior, including psilocybin or magic mushrooms, LSD, MDMA, commonly known as ecstasy or molly, and ketamine, a powerful anesthetic, just to name a few. A single dose of the compound can rapidly change behavior for a long period of time, even after the drugs have been cleared uh, from the system. They're not cures, but they're getting us, you know, one step closer in that direction. Wouldn't it be great if a patient could only only had to take a drug? you know, once a week, once a month, or once a year instead of every single day. Olson says eventually his team will conduct human clinical trials, but the Institute plans to take their research a step further, taking a deep dive into the chemistry of these drugs and engineer the next generation of psychedelics. It may be possible to separate some of the beneficial effects of psychedelics from their uh, effects on perception. And if you can remove the hallucinogenic effects of the drugs, you might be able to create uh, more scalable alternatives that can impact a, a larger uh, percentage of patients. Pretty fascinating. The Institute for Psychedelics and Neurotherapeutics is a $5 million project and is funded in part by the College of Letters and Science and the School of Medicine.